333, start your message with the word Kent. Lots of you talking about veganism as well. After the TV presenter, Chris Packham, said, we need to have labels on packets of meat that show how the animals live, the conditions they're kept in, a bit like we do on cigarette packets for health. Well, let's discuss this now with Joey Carbstrong, well-known vegan activist who joins us in the studio. Morning, Joey. Um, Hello. So there's lots of issues, really, with, with putting pictures on, on packets that they might even upset vegans walking around the shop. So where do you stand on this? I think anything that deters people from eating flesh or animal products is a good thing. Um, I don't really know how they would facilitate that, though, like getting you know this hor- horrific footage from a certain fa- uh, horrific uh, conditions from a certain farm. I think maybe um, showing what happens in the slaughterhouse is probably more important because even in the most high welfare, free ranging farm in England, they all go to a slaughterhouse to be stabbed in the neck, strung up by their ankle, and you know have the blood drained out of their throat. So I think what happens in the slaughterhouse is probably more important yeah it's, it's interesting isn't it because i guess we'd need to believe if we were going back to whether we had the, mm. the individual farmers a bit the point that claire made you know you see the chickens running around in the field how do you know that is the field that those chickens are living in so we'd need the farmers to sign up and a they probably wouldn't and b they were not going to sign up to having slaughterhouse pictures because that's really gruesome yeah it's gruesome and uh, i think they use these happy free-ranging pictures with the grass to like perpetuate this image of you know humane farms and it makes people feel comfortable but all those animals whether they're in horrific conditions or amazing conditions on the farm go to the slaughterhouse with all the rest of them so and i suppose a lot of people would say well actually in this country we have very high animal welfare standards and they would say that we are very kind to the animals and we kill them in the right way so what's the problem the right way to kill someone. I don't think there's no uh, humane way to take someone's life from them. And where are all these humane farms? I mean, the ones that you see the cows in the pastures, but you know, the, the ones that are really horrific are hidden from the public's view. Um, also, I want to make a point, like we, we do label uh, cigarette packets, uh, you know, cigarettes cause lung cancer, but in fact, the biggest killer of human beings is heart disease, trumps lung cancer by a mile, and saturated fat and cholesterol are found in animal products. I know this isn't a secret in the health community, in the scientific community, so why not put labelling on processed meats, class one carcinogen as well? That's really interesting because actually we spoke to someone from Cancer Research UK just after six o'clock this morning on that very issue. And the only issue though with that, she wasn't in favour by the way, is that, you know, for a lot of people who are living in poverty, processed meat is a, you know, is the way that they kind of subsist. And you might be classing people out. Do you see what I mean? No, but we've got rice, beans, vegetables, uh, corn, pasta are the cheapest foods in the supermarket and they don't cause disease. And we're feeding children processed meats from gas chambered pigs if children knew what they were eating, oh my God, they'd have nightmares. But, you know, these are known carcinogens. They cause heart disease, the number one killer of human beings. Why not put labelling on them? But you are you are here, Joey. I mean, with respect, you're making some of this stuff up, aren't you? I mean, no. if you look at... I mean, you, you mentioned about animals being stabbed in the neck. What sort of slaughterhouse have you been to? Every single animal gets stabbed in the throat. Chickens, they have their pigs throat lamp, cut. They get shot in the head and stabbed in the throat. They the get their get... throat cut. Their throat is cut, isn't it? It's not well, stabbed well, in the well, throat. I've it's seen, not a serial well, killer there well, pigs standing stabbed. there with a meat yeah, cleaver. Their throat the is cut. But what I'm saying well, well, is you're, well, impl- well, you're well, employing hyperbole here to make your case because you don't want people to be eating meat. Well, and I can show most you hours eat, of animals being stabbed in the throat. And hours. I'm sure you could take the worst practice, and I could probably show you the best practice where that doesn't happen, where government vets are on site and you have a complete, clean and humane show approach me. to... To, to slaughtering animals. And most people don't have carcinogenic issues. Most people don't have diseases because meat, meat eating is mostly safe. If you have an imbalanced diet, if you're not eating the right things alongside it, you might get a bunch of tumours and cancer and your heart goes ping at some point in your life. But for most people, that isn't going to happen. Most people live a healthy life, eat meat all their life, love every bit of it. Nothing goes Some wrong. Some people smoke cigarettes till they're 90. You know, and some people can smoke a bit of a the few cigarettes here and there. The average person doesn't die through eating it meat, Joey. Mean you that know cigarette that. Cigarette smoking doesn't cause lung cancer, and just because some people can eat meat uh, their whole life doesn't mean eat, eating meat doesn't cause heart disease. If you eat the wrong meat, the if you eat too much meat, clear. it's so balanced, isn't it? You're going up against the whole scientific community here when you say eating saturated fat and cholesterol so the whole doesn't, of the cause, si- doesn't cause heart disease. Nobody said and it doesn't also, if you eat too much of it or the wrong meat product. I want to see this slaughterhouse where animals aren't getting a knife in their throat. Where's this magical so slaughterhouse? So a knife is used, yes, in the slaughter process. It's called slaughtering animals. I don't know any. Other way to do gas it. Would you rather they used a <laughs> hammer? What, 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 where, how else are you meant to dispatch an animal that's in a slaughterhouse? Well, how are you supposed to do it humanely? 
Because you stun the animal first. Uh, the animal so is stunned stunning first. a human being is okay if it's done humanely? We're not talking about human beings. We're talking about the food well, chain. The We're talking difference? about pigs and cows. What's the, what's the difference between stunning someone in the head and slashing their throat open and stunning a cow in the head and slashing their throat open morally? So you make no differential between taking the life of a human and taking the life of an animal. Well, you can't pigs, seriously pigs believe have that. The, pigs have the intelligence of a three-year-old child. Now... What is the moral difference between a pig and a three-year-old child? So you would argue that there is no difference between taking the well, life I'm of a human what the and an is. animal. Well, you, you raised the point that there's an ethical issue here, and I'm simply countering it back, that in fact there is a moral difference between us and animals. Well, what, in the is, food it? Chain. what is it? So you wouldn't support, you wouldn't well, support the idea well, that people can look for a... Well, you're saying there's a moral difference between a, a three-year-old and a pig, and what is it? Tell you me. want me to articulate why we are more me. important in the food chain than a pig? I want you to tell me what the moral difference is between a three-year-old and a pig. Because we have a food chain, because we have a pecking order, because we have a diet, because it, we have, wait a second, the, a we have the ability. Chain, does a food like, chain mean moral? Does a food chain mean ethical? Well, what, are you, why are you the barometer of morality? I'm asking you what the moral difference is between a pig and a three-year-old and you can't answer it. But I'm asking you why you believe you can set that moral compass where you want it to set. Why, why I can set a moral compass we have is because a food you chain. adhere we, to your own moral system. But we are building... So, so you adhere to a moral system where you don't think human beings should be stabbed, but you don't adhere to that same moral system you have a double standard for pigs. Now, I'm asking yes, you... Yes, because I moral... don't happen to think that I a asked, pig... I answered your question. What's the moral difference between a pig with the intelligence of a three-year-old and a child that's three years old? What's the moral difference? What is the greatest contribution to the planet Earth of a pig? You answered a question well, no, with asking, a question. I'm asking you the question. You answer, you answer what, the is, what is a pig's greatest contribution? To what the, is a mentally a the, person with mental disabilities contribution to the world? Doesn't mean they don't have moral value. We shouldn't treat people based on their intelligence. We shouldn't treat people immorally based on their intelligence. We shouldn't pe treat uh, pe uh, okay. so excuse me. We shouldn't treat pigs immorally based on their intelligence that's, levels. That's fine, and that is your view. But you have to understand, not everybody follows Joey Carbstrong's worldview. Well, you have a moral system uh, for human beings that you adhere to, and we have a double standard for animals, and there's no moral well, difference. It's a different, diff it's a different moral system, perhaps. Well, there's a double standard. I don't it's think hypocrisy. you guys are going to agree on that particular point. Um, but I would argue that more people are coming round to Joey's point of view because the rise in veganism among young people is actually off the scale, which is why you see all of the, the aisles in, I don't know, m and Waitrose, wherever you are, there, there is an aisle. But, you know, it was levelled by a farmer at us um, earlier on, Joey, that actually some of the things, if we're going to be talking about the planetary reason to go vegan not just about saving animals but about the planet the actually. environment environment so you know soya wiping out large parts of you know third world countries and quinoa and 91 of 91 percent of animals on deforestation is for animal agriculture so we're talking growing soybeans to feed to livestock it's not for tofu you know uh climate change ocean dead zones uh all of this uh, main contributor is from animal agriculture alone. So, I mean, we can talk about other environmental factors like palm oil, but nothing comes close to animal it agriculture. Is good, it is good to eat less. I mean, I, I don't think anybody. I mean, I well, have, actually, I've had three vegetarian meals this week. I mean, I'm not a, you know, I don't sit this. there as, as Ian the meat eater. Wait, wait, wait. Are who, you opposed to animal cruelty? Am I opposed to animal cruelty? Yes, yeah. I'm not opposed so to why, animals. So for what reason, if they don't have moral value? If I, because I don't want to torture something. So why, do, why, don't, you I don't don't why don't you want to torture animals if they don't have moral value? Why do I want to torture? I didn't say so, animals so, don't have any so moral value. So if it's value. wrong to torture an animal, why is it wrong? Why isn't it wrong to shoot them in the head and so stun them? So it's okay that if I went outside and start kicking a puppy, you're saying there's no difference between that and the process in a slaughterhouse. Well, I is it okay to stun the puppy humanely? Joey, I don't believe you can believe this claptrap. Is you it, cannot Ian, at any level. Ian, you're a grown man. Ian, is it okay you to stun a puppy this? humanely? Who wants to stun a puppy? Well, a, stu well, who a, wants puppy, to who a puppy isn't part of the food what? chain. Wait, we wait, don't wait, wait. eat dogs. A food chain we don't breed ethical. dogs to eat. So they do in China. I'm talking about morality. We're not, not in China, China thank we... goodness. We're a progressive country. I'm talking about morality. We have standards. Yeah. We have There's standards. no moral we have difference rules. between a, a pig and a, and a dog. What's the difference between a pig? Yeah, what, that's, I don't what's know. the moral what difference, the difference between a puppy and a pig? A piglet's are six months old when they're gas chambered and stabbed. You can't answer that. They're not part of the food chain. Hey, I can't answer that either. That's why I'm vegan. I'm not part of the food chain. I can't answer I'm, that question either. That's am, why I'm a vegan. I am satisfied that we have a humane food chain in this country. Just sometimes, admit that you... Just it admit, sometimes goes wrong. Just it admit sometimes that we goes live in, wrong. I'm going to ding the bell and call time, oh, actually, okay. now. But it's been interesting. Um, me, and Joey go, me, and Joey go, <laughs> me and Joey are going for a, uh, a fair trade Round coffee. Round two next time. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Good. And listening to that wordy sound, I mean, what is the difference between a pig and a puppy? I seriously want to know. 0800 756 double. One double one. Would well, some dogs have snouts? Like some breeds, a little sort snouty of. face. Yeah. We met a dog on honeymoon. He had a little snouty face. It's really cute. Nice. Yeah, it was. Sure, that wasn't um, a pig. <laughs> Good man, Joey. <laughs>
Jerry well, is a well-known vegan activist joining us in the studio right now. You're listening to BBC Radio Kent. It is the wake-up call with Ian and Anna. I think we've run out of time to do the news. Have we run out of time no, to do the newspaper? No, okay, no we've good. got plenty of time. Look at this. Yeah. Well, we have got the news headlines coming. <laughs> okay, that got a bit heated. Like, he couldn't answer my question. Kept answering my question with a question which is like classical dodging. If you can't answer me what the moral difference is between a three year old child and a pig, stop eating pigs. 